What's good culture? It's your boy Franco and we got the stupidest beef for 2021. So if you guys didn't know, Fulio and Kodak Black are allegedly beefing. And before I go any further, I just want to say Fulio is known to be a capper. There's been numerous instances of him capping about situations, specifically the spinning band situation where allegedly he was getting pussied out of his food in jail and his homeboys locked up was taking his suit. But we kind of find out it was all cap because spinning bands was in a quarantine cell. That's just one instance out of numerous. With all that out the way, one of the reasons why this beef actually started it could be because Kodak Black allegedly viciously piped out Fulio's girl now I got this from my online source and this is just alleged this is just a rumor I don't want to say this is 100% true but that could be one of the reasons because Fulio's hood is four hours away and Kodak's black hood is south of Florida in Golden Acres mind you most of these rappers move out of their state when they actually get money so I'm actually surprised that they were actually even in Florida at the time but for a grown ass man to actually drive four Four hours away to another man's hood there's only three options either one they're actually beefing either two some cloud chasing is going on or three Kodak Black actually did pipe out his girl I'm gonna lean more towards the side that this is a cloud chasing situation where Fulio is trying to gain some clout off of Kodak which I don't understand the whole music industry in their mama's eyes are on the Jacksonville music scene but the way Fulio talks about Kodak in this clip which I'm gonna show you basically makes Kodak look like a b on the phone with Fulio basically asking him for please before the whole situation unfolded. When Kodak Black gets on the internet, he turns into a super thug. Let me show y'all this clip, man. Sign with me on some J. Cole, YK, Osiris yeah. shit. Mm. But get on this Instagram shit, be 21 Savage and Young Nudy, man. You gotta stop that, bro, because you called me a Spanish or stuff, bro. I ain't got no beef with nobody. I just know what's really going on. You can't throw the cross at me, bro. I know what's going on, bro. You hear me? I don't cut my niggas, I don't cut my niggas, that shit ain't nothing, man, you trippin'. I'll be in your shit before you be in my shit. Be on FaceTime with and then Kodak Black responded and pulled up back to his hood. Yes, a multi-millionaire pulling back up to the projects to prove a point that Fulio was on some 6 9 shit. Take a look at this BS, man. Alright, all right, come on, bruh. Nigga go, bruh, the outside with a sign that is on the main street, like, what traffic at. Gotta jump out, cool, take a quick little picture at like that nigga. Nigga on some six nine ass shit. Yeah, that was I don't know what, homie. Then it's like a lot of my day one niggas, like my day one niggas in prison and jail. A lot of us don't fuck shit, you know what I mean? Hey, you can do like, what the fuck, homie? Right. Then Fulio actually goes ahead and exposes this man. Now, it might seem like I'm going kind of hard on Fulio, but I don't really have anything against Fulio. I want to see this man win and I actually enjoy his music. The problem I have is when I see two successful black men beefing over stupid shit. Fulio goes ahead and exposes the message with Kodak Black, in which Kodak Black basically says, Hey, I'm trying to warn you that some people are out trying to kill you for 200 racks. Simple as that. And I actually think Fulio was kind of lame for exposing this to the public. And it brings me back to the cloud chase and stuff this man is actively trying to gain press and attention off of this because there's no other reason to expose it to the public and i get it this is what rappers do but like i said earlier fulio is known to be a capper so we have to take this with a grain of salt even though these messages look real when you have a track history of capping i can't take anything you say seriously man so after this whole situation fulio goes on ig live and says they're not even beefing stop saying i'm beefing with kodak i'm not beefing with kodak Man, Kodak not beefing. There ain't no pressure, bro. I talked to Kodak yesterday on on FaceTime, and I talked to Psycho Ball today. How's it beef? How? Uh, I could really say some shit on on his live for real, but I'm gonna just keep it street. But how's it beef though? I'm not beefing with this man. So y'all want to post everything else? Go post that. Fully and Kodak is not beefing. Kid out of room. Whoever started that room. See, this is what I mean, man. You go ahead and drive four hours to this man's hood. Mind you, you shouldn't even be in Jacksonville in any way, shape, or form. You shouldn't even be in Florida. You're labeled the most hated for a reason. I don't see why you would put yourself back into that environment. But you go ahead, drive four hours to this man's hood. You get a reaction out of him. You guys go back and forth on IG a little bit. And for what other reason besides the clout and attention, man? And the thing I don't understand is that this isn't Fulio's only one time going back and forth with someone on IG. This is like the seventh or eighth time. And I 
I really don't understand it coming from his place because like I said earlier every single label is trying to sign Jacksonville rappers right now like you literally are the face of the music industry at this point just like Chirac had their whole movement and every label and every fan was trying to get into the scene that's how it is with the Jacksonville scene right now you don't see Young and Ace participating in any of the BS online even though he has a slight edge above you in terms of clout and popularity he doesn't participate in any of that BS man he just puts out solid music just like you should do and not be engaged in this BS because there's some actual rappers that will actually try to take this man's life and try to get in his position it's simple as that man I'm not no one's dad but I'm just stating the obvious and for Kodak Black to actually respond to this and pull back up to his hood it really shows how the fans perception can really get inside the minds of some of these rappers here we have Kodak Black a multi-million he's already proven himself inside of the music industry going back to his hood just to prove that he still is hood enough and that people aren't going to disrespect his hood for what other reason but to appease us the fans because i know for a fact if kodak black did not pull back to, to his hood or respond to fulio in any way shape or form a lot of his fans will look at him sideways and be like man this dude is street man i'm gonna go listen to nba young boy nba young boy better a lot of these fans move from who's a real street dude to the next street dude and when that street dude who's popular right now passes away they're gonna be the same one saying r.i.p but when the street dude actually doesn't go ahead and do the bs oh he's a lame literally the dumbest shit i've ever seen in my life but it's our generation and i can't really say anything because i'm a part of the problem with all that out the way that's all i gotta say your boy franco's out be blessed deuces